May 13th, St. Robert Bellarmine, Doctor of the Church. Since the founding of the Church until our days, divine province has always called illustrious men, who by their knowledge and sanctity have conserved and defended the truths of the Catholic faith against the attacks of the heretics. Among these men shines St. Robert Bellarmine, born in 1542 and died in 1621. He was celebrated for his teachings and polemic works as well as for his virtue and zeal for the church. In truth it would seem that the holy cardinal had received from God the threefold gift of teaching the people, guiding the faithful, and confounding the Protestant heretics of the 16th century, a time when Protestantism was growing and spreading. He was a great preacher, professor, and polemicist, receiving the title of Hammer of Heresies from Benedict XV. He wrote prodigiously, and to understand the worth of his books, one need only read what St. Francis de Sales, his contemporary and friend, said about them. I preached five years in Chablais with no other books than the Bible and the works of the great Bellarmine. His most famous work, the Controversies, a collection of lectures he delivered at the Roman College. In it he set out the teaching of the Fathers, the Councils, and the Church Law to victoriously defend the dogmas attacked by the Protestants. Clear, balanced, and forceful, his work is so well done that many considered it indisputable. When it was published it raised as much joy among Catholics as hatred among the Church's enemies. Theodore of Bays, a Protestant leader, used to say, This is the work that defeated us. Given the number of conversions for which it was responsible, reading it was forbidden under penalty of death in England by Queen Elizabeth. Only doctors of theology were permitted to read it by her edict. In addition to disputing the heretics, he also wanted to prevent the faithful from falling into their errors. For this purpose, he wrote his remarkable little catechism, a summary of Christian doctrine, which he used to teach the children and simple lay people, even when he was very busy with other pressing matters. Among his many other works, at the end of his life, he wrote his spiritual notes, which form five small treaties. The last of these works is called The Art of Dying Well. At almost eighty years old, he fell into his last illness at St. Andrew's, and in it he showed his usual radiant virtue. He died in the year 1621. Pope Pius XI canonized him in 1930 and made him a doctor of the church the following year. A contemporary cardinal declared that Robert was sent by God for the instruction of Catholics and for the guidance of the good, as well as for the confusion of heretics. St. Francis de Sales regarded him as a fountain of learning, and Pope Benedict XV proclaimed him the model of promoters and defenders of the Catholic religion. The writings of the saints breathe religion, chastity, integrity, humility, and charity. We cannot read their books without imbibing some of their spirit of holiness and love of virtue.